guys welcome back to another video i'm currently in the kitchen making products and i decided i would just drop in i wasn't gonna do an entrepreneur life video um but i was like let me just show little bits and pieces because i know you guys enjoy these videos so i've been working all freaking day like all freaking day it's like three o'clock now um i'm in the middle of making my styling gel right now and i've also made scalp psoriasis treatment today so let me see and then this is what the styling gel is looking like i'm just emulsifying it right now and adding the finishing touches and then i'm gonna go ahead and just put them in these jars so i don't know if i've been on youtube since i've straightened my hair but it's a little wild right now because i have been running errands and everything like that but i did recently just straighten my hair what was it like maybe three four days ago um yeah my hair's really still not used to heat so my hair's trying but i don't know and then i just have like this loose wavy look going i actually bought that thing that's really popular on tiktok and stuff like the heatless curl thing and i've just been using this every night to basically wrap my hair and then when i take it out in the morning i have like these little loose wave curl thing going on and then as well today i made some curl defining cream this one isn't completely full but i made a few of them right there so I can finish fulfilling my orders. Because as you guys can see from my shelves, there's no scalp psoriasis treatment. So like I said, I made that today. Um, it's a little empty over here. I'm going to have to make shampoo probably later this week for my scalp psoriasis shampoo. Because there's only three in stock. We're still good on deep conditioner. Rose water shampoo is still good. Um, I made more curling custard yesterday. So I made a bunch of those yesterday um we need more alum fenugreek soon hair growth leave-in still good i have enough mango butter for now and then honey growth i'm gonna have to make more soon hair growth oil is fine and african black soap is pretty much fine so yeah this week for me is pretty much inventory type week you guys know on these weeks i usually don't film but other than that i wouldn't have had any content to give you guys so I might as well show a little bit of what I've been up to. I've been super, super busy, as you guys know, just running my business and everything like that. Um, I look kind of oily, crazy. Um, it's been a busy, hectic day. Got a post up as usual. Um, I've been making products. I have to clean so much stuff. All that's like equipment from the day. Yeah, I'm definitely oily. All that's equipment from the day and then also i have to clean my filling machine so after i finish up with the styling gel i'm about to just clean 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 get all the equipment together and yeah it's been a crazy day i went to the grocery store picked up some groceries that i needed i had a salad for lunch today i didn't feel like making my usual breakfast food you guys know i usually I'm a breakfast person, but today I was like, yeah, we're just going to have a salad. That's what I'm craving. So I had a really yummy salad for lunch. Hey, you yeah, guys. So, um, yeah, if you're not subscribed to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you are following my business, Lavish Curls Beauty. If you are new to my channel, my business, Lavish Curls Beauty, Beauty is an all-natural hair care business. I have three collections, one for moisture, one for scalp psoriasis, and one for hair growth. So you're pretty sure to find something you like on there. And for the end of April, I did have like a spring savings sale. So I was offering all single items for $9 and that sale went really good. Um, it was basically like two days. So I did like a two day spring savings sale. Everything was $9 and yeah, it went really good. So I shipped out orders for that yesterday. That was Monday. So today's Tuesday. So that's why I'm finishing up making certain products so that I can finish shipping out the rest of the orders tomorrow on Wednesday. So that's what's been going on, y'all. Um, just been busy, busy, working. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, working on marketing stuff. I did run some Facebook ads last month. I have two influencers coming up that I'm going to be doing some campaigns with. That's another thing I've been doing. I've been looking for influencers. So like um, I'll take some time out of my day. Got a little bit of flake in there. I'll take some time out of my day and I'll like look through Instagram and look at some people I would want to work with. I get their emails and like I send them out basically like a brief or like a 
message or email about wanting to work with them and some of them respond back with like rates and stuff and pretty much for this campaign i am trying to do like a free campaign i'm not really trying to um sorry my feeling machine was in the way i'm not really trying to do paid campaigns right now and i'm pretty much just um trying to see who i can work with for free because <laughs> i did a paid campaign like last month and that's fine but when you're a small business you do kind of just want to try to see if there's any people that you can work with for free that's more budget friendly um but a lot of influencers these days do know um just to charge even if they are very small like even if they do have like a thousand followers there are influencers definitely charging for their work now so um that's a little tricky because back in the day like when i started like eight years ago influencers we didn't really know about charging and we didn't know our worth yet back then because it was all so new so a lot of stuff we were just doing free and in, in exchange work um but the new influencers these days even if they do have a super small following they are still charging people um just to create their work so i'm just like okay um these new influencers are different these days so um yeah so i'm still looking for the ones that are still just doing product in exchange so that i can save some money not having to pay anyone unless i really want to pay you like if you have a bigger following like this one girl on instagram she had nineteen thousand followers and i paid her because it's like okay your reels reach people she has really good reach really good engagement so it's worth paying versus someone who doesn't really have the reach have the influence but it's like good exposure for the brand type thing and i know influencers hate hearing oh this would be good exposure but it's like you're not quite at the point to really bring in sales like that like i know your influence isn't that good yet but it's like we just want you to create content for more people to see someone using the product like the hair products but you know it's not more so we're pitching you for sales we're just reaching out to you because we want you to create content content creator you know so that's what i've been dealing with let me pop you guys right here sorry if i keep like moving my thing in the way but yeah that's what i've been dealing with um just seeing if there's any body worth paying and then also who i can do free campaigns with so that's what i've been pretty much up to and then what else do i want to tell you guys um so the facebook ads and the same thing with just trying to find brand ambassadors has been harder too because once again um a lot of the newer influencers these days they you know they want to make money <laughs> um social media really definitely hyped up the whole making money thing and charging and knowing your worth thing so i think for a lot of companies now finding brand ambassadors is harder because before it would just be like okay a company sends you products you create content for free basically you don't get paid for it it's just something you genuinely enjoyed doing so you became a brand ambassador for whatever company that it is that you liked and you know you created content but now it's harder to find brand ambassadors because a lot of creators don't want to reach out and join those platforms because they know automatically as a brand ambassador you're not getting paid to create content so it's like you're basically working for free honestly we all know that um and a lot of people don't want to do that anymore so it is harder now as a company if you're trying to find brand ambassadors because last year when I put out a brand ambassador search for the first time, so many girls were like flooding Lavish Crow's DMs. And then this year we did get some DMs, but it wasn't um, what I was looking for. The people weren't meeting the criteria. Like for me, I'm like, you have to have an open profile. You have to already create natural hair content. Like I need to see that this is something you already like doing. And you know, I like, the content to be created at a certain level like i don't like dingy photos i don't like dingy videos i don't like certain backgrounds like i it needs to show like effort you know um, basically like how i create my content or like 
close to that level or better so um yeah i just wasn't seeing what i was looking for it was a lot of pu pro not public it was a lot of um private profiles people who didn't create natural hair content like it was honestly on some oh i'm just applying because i want free products but i have no interest in the field of content creation so i didn't see any really good candidates like that so i was just like you know what we're going to just try reaching out to influencers and seeing if I can get some campaigns rolling with people who actually work for free starting off and then we can move into um, in the future paying some of them. But also, you know, there are some influencers, like I said, I do pay if they have the following and the engagement, it just really depends. But if I, I can tell you're still beginner, beginner, I usually um, don't pay for that. That's usually product in exchange, especially in your beginning phases, like how it was for me. I don't know if you guys were sliding, I'm sorry. And I'm like looking all over because I usually don't film on my phone, I'm sorry. But yeah, that's just a little chit chat update. I'm about to go ahead and fill my containers with styling gel, clean up this mess. And then I am chilling for the rest of the day, y'all. So I just wanted to come in, drop in, talk to y'all, give a little bit of updates and tell you guys what I've been up to and doing. But yeah, let me do this cleaning up. Maybe I'll show you guys a little bit of me cleaning up. But if not, I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't, make sure you check out Lavish Curls Beauty. All the information is linked in the description box below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Oh,